Welcome to the post game press conference. We have Maxi Brawl, Coach Donaldson, and Julia Biaki here with us. Uh, tonight, Maxi and Julia scored their first NWSL goals. Julia technically scored an Olympico for us against Mexico, but that was not an NWSL game. So, mm -hmm. however you want to cut that. Okay. Anybody want to kick us off with questions? <laughs> Leslie. Uh, Maxi, what a, what a welcome to the league. Uh, how do you how do you feel about uh, coming over here and just taking in the American style of play? Yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's completely different from the other side I played in Germany. So, but I'm really excited. And um, yeah, so far, everything went good, yeah. Maxi, after inches away from a goal last weekend, how uh, similar kind of run, how did that feel bearing it uh, in front of the home crowd? And that end is not an easy end to score on. Yeah, I mean, it's nice in the end that it's, that it's in the goal. Um, I always try to make that runs in the box because only there you can score. And yeah, sometimes it happens. And today it's, uh, yeah, finally there. Sorry, maybe with you, Maxi, and then opening it up to all three of you. It seemed like today was a real win for the defensive organization of the team, keeping them to shots from distance. How does that allow that to spring that attack forward? And especially if you get in the, into the midst of the attack there. I mean, if you are good in defense, uh, then you have a good opportunity to win games. So I think we all have to work for that. It starts in the front and it ends in the back. And together as a team, we made it really good today. Um, of course, in the end, maybe we should try to keep the ball a little bit more and not just um, uh, long balls, because uh, then it gets hard to defend. And they get their chances, of course. But um, all in all, everyone did a great job. And then, Coach, what did you see from your defense today? Yeah, I know they were very, very, very resilient. I mean, uh, <clears throat> and determined, and you know, it was a grind, but um, that's a part, you know, we train for stuff like this, you know, when it gets this way. And as Max say, if we keep the ball a little bit better, I think it, you know, it makes our, our job a lot easier. But for some reason today, we couldn't, we couldn't find a way to keep it. So I'm mean, gonna give Sia the credit for that. They, they did some good stuff, you know, disrupt our rhythm a little bit. And um, so we give them credit, but it was a good grind win to just grind it out. What did you think about the organization of the defense and the way that they were able to push the ball forward uh, and then keep the ball away from Seattle? Well, that's what we're saying. I mean, the, defensively, we were organized, you know, and then I say, you know what, you know, we try to, you know, we have some, we have very good players in the back. You can just see, you know, you know, actually got our first goal, winning goal, you know, and, you know, with Sam and Sam back there and Taylor and, um, and you know, not too quicker, you know, you know, we trust them and Alyssa is in goal, you know, very competent. So, you know, we trust the backs and we trust the way we, we the way we defend. There have been um, multiple players over these two wins that have contributed to the goals. How does it feel to sort of see this collection of players kind of coming together? Because there's a, a number of first year players with this franchise come together and produce this early. Well, that's what we wanted to see when we start, you know, you know, looking at players and, you know, getting draft picks because, you know, you know, there was a few draft picks out there today, even at the end of the game, which is crunch time. So we want to get some some players who are who, who's going to buy into what we're doing, you know, and, you know, yes, you question some stuff. But the first thing is, do they have the work ethics to come in and, you know, and do what we want to do? And as a group, the players, you know, collectively, I think they've been working hard and, it's no surprise to me right now, but we got long, 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 long ways to go in this league. Uh, Lauren Taylor's second start, uh, that equals as many as she got last year. Just curious what you've seen from her. Obviously, the assist on Maxie's goal, but uh, 290 minutes from her, pretty strong left back. Yeah, I mean, I, I came in, I didn't know. I mean, obviously, Taylor wasn't a, you know, I, you know, who is this girl? But, you know, she came out and she, you know, we didn't start her, she earned it. And, She's a very, very good 1v1 defender, and we know the, the style we play, okay? We have to trust our, our, our defending 1v1, and so far, so good for Taylor. I mean, you know, you know, nobody know who she, who, who she was, but she's kind of carving out a little bit of a niche for herself, which I, I'm proud of her. For you, Julia, speaking from last year to this year, this is actually the first time in the Red Stars history that you guys have gotten six points out of the first two games of the season. What is the energy shift? It just kind of felt a little bit different at CP today from last year this year. Yeah, I mean, it's been amazing. Like, it's a challenge year. We are, like, switching a lot of things. And we we had, like, a lot of players that left and a lot of players coming in, a lot of new members to our staff. 
so it's a challenge year but i think we've been doing good i mean six points and four goals scored in the first two games was just amazing and we just have to keep it up for julia um for the growth of your game from uh the past year uh, when you were uh, you know original sub and now you're a piece of every team what do you think your your game has improved uh I think it took me a while to get like the American style, which is a lot of transition, a lot of physical uh, effort, and once you get the pace, I think things start coming coming out. So, as I said, it took me a, a while. Also, last year we had a lot of new players. We were trying to find out like where each other like were in the field, and I think it just sometimes it just takes time. And I'm I'm really happy that we are like building a new kind of culture with this team, and I can be part of it. So, what are you what are you seeing on the pitch this year differently that maybe you didn't see last year? I think like so far, uh, the connection. I think there was like a lack of connection last year, the whole season, I would say, and we can see it in the field, and also like when we go through difficult times in the field, I think we are going through it. Like today, we got a score in the beginning of the second half and we go back and just like score another goal like five or 10 minutes later. So I think like this energy, this resilience, uh, it's something like really good and something that is showing out this year and is making us win the games. Uh, Leslie, Joe, and then sort of off of that what was the conversation after Seattle scored that goal it was just like we were feeling that we are lacking a little bit of energy I think we went out and started the second half a little bit like to comfort uh so it was just like guys we didn't win anything so let's get back and do the work we have to do Julia you had an interesting build up into the season just how do you think that gold cup run kind of helped prepare you for this because you were away from the team for a couple of weeks but it seems like you didn't really miss that much based on these first few games. Uh, I know that the team was working hard too so uh, I was there like getting some minutes and being like in shape to play uh, so it's just like when I got back we had a lot of meetings we still like just training and getting it back. Alex. This is mainly I guess for Cody but Julia and Maxi chime in as well when you were looking at the start of the season as you take these first two games what were your biggest goals what were kind of the big what was the biggest message these first two weeks and how do you think the team's done with what you wanted to see in these opening two games again I mean the message has been very very consistent when we started out you know so you know what we we're a team you know that you know is going to go through some some hard times and you know and we and we will have a few, a few good times when we have the hard times we have to know how to be very resilient and, and being and just being relentless and um, so we have to you know when I start going through players we start selecting players with a mindset that can um, get some of this stuff done you know it might not be the best you know technician but we have some technician out there who are young you know so we have to just build them along but 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 they know that we have to be we have to be a group and as and as and as Julia mentioned we have to change the character of the team and the culture, okay? So that's what we're looking to do right away. Just change the, change the culture into an attitude. Even if you lose games, you have a winning mentality. You know, everybody here wants to win. Okay, we hate to lose. So, and, and that's what we change it to. But the only way that can happen is um, with hard work and just everybody trusting everybody. We're in this thing together. And I mentioned to them, you know, when, when you go to war, and if you get in a foxhole, then if some of them don't know what a foxhole is at war, <laughs> then, then we have to defend each other. One person slip up in the foxhole, we're in trouble. So it's like a foxhole mentality. We all have to work for each other. And uh, Yes, uh, I want to know your uh, thoughts a lot about uh, Mal didn't score yet, but she's doing a hard work in this team too. Yeah, you know, Mal is, Mal is going to, I mean, I don't expect, expect Mal to hit, you know, any kind of form until, you know, you know, the five or six games in she's been out for a while so you know she's done 
way, way, way better than I thought. I didn't even think she was going to start the season, which is good. When I came in and I look and I said, she's here, I'm like, okay, we're going to play the first set of games without Miles. So she just being on the field is a plus to this organization. And she's a leader out there. And, you know, she's going to work her, you know what, she's going to work her, you know, butts off for everybody. And, you know, she's bringing it and she, she put fear in the next teams, which is good. So, I mean, when she hit her stride, then it's going to be even, even greater. Coach, you know, your, your first uh, three points at home, um, what, was, what was the reaction for you at, at the full time today? Was it a little bit different than uh, maybe the, the full time sit in seasons past? Yeah, I mean, you sit there and I'm happy for the fans and I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm especially happy for the fans and I'm happy for the ownership because, you know, they take a chance on something new, but I'm mostly I'm happy for the players and their family because it's a, it's, I mean, it, it, it's still, you know, we have, as I say, we have a long way to go. I mean, who knows, but you know, you gotta be happy for, for the fans and, and, and especially the way the weather was setting up and everything, it's a little bit cold out there. I mean, I want to give the fans high praises to coming out and, when the team was a little bit low, everybody started, you know, getting getting the girls going. But I'm I'm very happy for the players to to realize they can come in and you know get something done. Coach, uh, something that I noticed uh, watching the game was that the defending on set pieces was extremely efficient. At no point did it seem like the rain were threatening, despite a high amount of free kicks and corners. Is that something that's been a priority in training recently? That's been something that we prioritize. That you know we have to good you know we have to be we have to be good in the box. You win or lose games in the box, okay? You could be beautiful in midfield and do all this stuff. When, but when you slip up in the box offensively or defensively, that's the name of the game. Most games are you won, you, you win it or you lose it in the box. So yes, we prioritize that. And then maybe last one for Maxi. What was it like playing in that, in the famous Chicago weather for the first time? <laughs> It was okay, the sun was out, so um, it was not that bad, but the wind is always there. But I think you get used to it. We train also when it's really windy, so it's part of the game. I'm not used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, for, for Lauren too, this is the, your first win at, at CK. What, what were some things that maybe you heard about playing on this field? Because we hear a lot from players that it's like a massive field, that sometimes that wind can cut in, the sun sometimes on either. You know, you know what, you, you know what, I'll make it simple. I mean, I'm from Jamaica, but I spent my life in Colorado. Yeah. Okay? And if you want to talk about change of, you know, shovel two feet of snow and play, mm -hmm. and I can just, I have tons of that. And if you want to talk about different, Colorado can go from, you know, you know, 70 degrees, and by the time the game is finished, it's 25 degrees, if you know Colorado weather. And then, you know, you got three, four inches of snow, and you, and you got to play through it. So the, the, the weather doesn't bother me. It, it doesn't phase me one bit. So any condition, wind, rain, or whatever, I have been through it. So yeah, so I, it, it doesn't phase me. Feels like home? Yeah, it doesn't phase me. It doesn't phase me. It's just, it's just weather. It just, as I say, put the proper clothes on and get on with it. Thanks, uh, I'm going to ask uh, anybody online, if you have a question, just use the raise your hand function. I'll use it to call on you. So four people on there. Anybody have a question online? I'm, not muted. I'm good. The room covered it. Sweet. All right, thank you guys.